Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create a texture canvas. It's very easy. And also I will show you different patterns options. So if you're ready, let's get started. And let's choose the background color. It should be on the separate layer. I'm going to choose light beige color. It's better to choose the light color because at the one point we're going to choose the mode multiply and if we choose it, the color of our canvas will get very dark. So it's better to choose the light color for our background. Let's create a new layer and I'll start with the soft pastel print. Let's choose a bit darker version of the background color and apply the print. Actually, it's a brush, but here it works like a pattern of our canvas. And here I'm choosing the dark color to show you how it looks. Maybe you can see it well because it's light. And then let's merge these layers, create a new one and let's try to draw something. For example, I'm drawing just a few leaves, very easy, just to test our canvas, our texture canvas. And you notice that we can't see the pattern yet. So let's duplicate our texture canvas layer and put it above the leaves and choose multiply. And now you can see your drawing and you can see the pattern as well. Okay, let's hide these layers and I'm going to choose different options of the pattern, as I told you earlier. So you also can use oil pastel, I really like it. So for example, it looks like this. And also you can choose artist crayon, it looks really cool. Like another option, choose painting, fresco. So just choose any kind of brush. I think these brushes are really good for texture canvas. This is another option, but of course you can make your color lighter. Here I'm just showing how these brushes look and how your texture paper can look. So now let's merge our layers and choose PNG. So I'm showing you how you can save your canvas. So next time when you want to draw on the canvas, on the texture canvas, you can export it directly to your new project and start drawing. And when we do it, we should put the texture layer above our drawing and don't forget to choose multiply if you want to see the pattern. And that's it. I really hope that you like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.